What is up everybody? On the table back here is a brand new, just delivered Axial Capra four wheel steer. We're gonna unbox this thing, see what's inside, check the specs, and see if it smells good. So without further ado, let's cut some tape. All right, now as many of you probably already know, there are two versions of this Axial Capra four wheel steer. One of them is red, uh, red tube chassis and then one of them is black. Now, I like the red one. I think it looks okay. However, I think it doesn't, uh, I don't know, it looks a little more toy-like to me. Matter of fact, we've got a picture of it right here on what appears to be the bottom of the box. So, in my opinion, the red one is, I like the body panels better on the red one, but I like the black frame of the one that I got, which is, uh, I guess, the black version. And let's see what it looks like. This is the black version. I do plan on swapping out the body panels with a different uh, style. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I wonder which side of this box is the top and which side's the bottom. Let's see if I can guess this correctly. Now I'm assume, assuming that every one of these goes in the box in a particular orientation. Um, let's see. Ooh, no? Let's see. I'm thinking it's this way. Let's see if I'm right. Got three seals here, axial tape seals. One, two, three-ish, two and a half maybe. All right, how we do? How do we do? Oh, son of a bitch, it's upside down. Wouldn't you know it? Got a controller in here, a very lightweight controller. Look at that, now that looks good. I do in fact like that. Although I do prefer the old, the other body panels, not gonna lie. All right, I had to go find my trusty side dike cutters here and uh, do some zip tie snipping. I got this vehicle very well secured down to the cardboard platter. Now this is my first, what I would call, oh, would you look at that? A little bit of a uh, little grease on the cardboard there. Now that's something. One thing I hate dealing with is fluids of any kind. And uh, I don't appreciate that one bit. Now all you Axial guys are gonna know, know what I'm talking about here, but. I have heard nothing but bad reviews about axial shocks leaking, and uh, well, seems like most of them leak. Started out, my first crawler was a TRX4 Sport, and I bought that in the RTR. Um, those shocks are actually pretty darn good. Not a whole, ooh, tell you what, those tires are a little firm, but soft at the same time look pretty good. So yeah, I started with the TRX4 Sport and 
immediately started upgrading that to the point where it actually started performing worse than it did when it was stock as far as uh, suspension and weight balance, everything like that. Then I got into Vanquish, got myself a VS410 Pro, beautiful, beautiful straight axle truck. I love the scale look, love the style, but not the best performer. Once I realized it performed worse than the TRX4, it led me down this rabbit hole of trying to find something that performs even better than the TRX4 Sport, and I feel like this should do it. And I will modify this accordingly until it does just that, if need be. So I will be doing a build-up series, performance upgrades to this particular vehicle, and that suspension is beautiful. Love that. Look at that. That uh, is something that none of my other vehicles do. Not like that. That's got some articulation to it. Appreciate that. Also feels somewhat light. I think it's going to be good. Um, I've heard people say they like to drop them down a little bit. I may take those lower spring perches off. The old West Desert Wheeler mod. Let's see what that's like. Pull the uh, roof cover off there. And yeah, that's a handsome vehicle, if I don't say so myself. Get stuff out of the way. I'm definitely excited to get this out and give it a try. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any small 3S battery packs to put in here. I do have some 2S shorty packs that go in my buggy that I will be popping in there to give it a try. I've never driven a four-wheel steer RC car before, so I'm excited to see how that works. Yeah, the suspension's nice. I think we're doing okay. Love the look. That is, to me, that's real attractive. Well, there it is. I know we we're supposed to go over some specifications, but I'm kind of drawing a blank here. I think it's a, it's a brushed motor. I'm not super you know, enthused about that. I'm a brush, brushless man from way back. But uh, we're gonna make, make do with this. Um, I've been doing unboxings here and wiling out buying all kinds of crazy RC stuff. And I've um, got to slow my roll, honestly. Um, so this is gonna be my last unboxing for a while. But I'm gonna do a build series on this with some upgrades as time permits and definitely get some running footage. Got a busy schedule as of late, but we will try to keep these uh, uploads coming with some regularity. And uh, thanks for watching. Interesting, these screws are not flush down here on the bottom. But that looks good. I think we can work with this.